but they won't attack, and I mean they won't even mention attacking the actual organization that's responsible for doing this. What am I talking about, you might ask? That's a very good question. The answer is, well, I'll give you a little hint. What organization orchestrated, led, uh, funded, and would gain from this attack? What organization is President Trump the leader of? Who were, what organization were all, all of the insurrectionist rebels a member of? Nobody can really know. It's an extremely obvious answer. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. The Republican Party. Under any other circumstance, if there was one organization that funded, planned, and led an attack against the United States Capitol, that organization would be branded a domestic terrorist organization. But I guarantee you, there will not be so much as a mention on any mainstream or alternative stream, or even right-wing pundit media station that, or even the, consp and this is the great part, even the 4chan Trump world conspiracy QAnon crazies won't say this. And that's the part that really shows me everything is kind of, you know, connected. Why is the Republican Party getting a pass on this? Donald Trump is not only the president of the United States, He's the president of the Republican Party. A senator and a representative was in Congress objecting, trying to overthrow the election. Uh, every single member, as I said, of that rioting insurrectionist mob was a member of the Republican Party, a registered member of the Republican Party. Um, even after the riot, the, the, the attack was done, uh, Ted Cruz and the House of Representatives, Hoseman or whatever, went back to trying to overthrow the election the rest of the night. So it didn't even stop them. Now, <laughs> it would seem to me that any other organization that did all of this would face some sort of consequences, at least some sort of accusation that the organization itself is criminally liable for sedition and treason and insurrection. Not these right-wing extremist crazies organizations. Trump is not the president of those. Organizations don't have representatives in the government trying to overthrow the election. And certainly every member of the mob was not a member of one of those organizations. So the question becomes why isn't the Republican National Convention, the Republican Party, who is led by Donald Trump, who had objectors in Congress and all of the members are the attackers being held responsible.
simple as being a domestic terror organization. It's not just now. They supported these ideas for years. Why? And this is also going to come into play when Merrick Garland comes into office and says, Oh, I'm the people's attorney. Now, I'm not a Democratic attorney. I don't support Biden or the Republican or anybody. I'm only interested in what's best for the United States and the people thereof. Ooh, okay. Well, if that's true, then surely Merrick Garland would be able to see that the Republican Party itself has some criminal liability for all of the events that have occurred in the last four years that they actively took part in. But if he doesn't, then that proves that that statement is also not true. No. Everybody and everything around the Republican Party is going to be attacked, except the Republican Party itself. And that is the institution, the organization, from which the most evidence exists for. I find that interesting. But again, my prediction here today is not only will there be no charges, no investigation, no mention, but there will not even be a rumor on the most extreme, bizarre, conspiratorial channel will even mention that the Republican Party itself be held responsible in any way for these events. That's pretty amazing. And that means that this 